Christmas. What's Christmas time to you but a time for paying bills without money? A time for finding yourself a year older and not a penny richer. Through revolutionary special effects and even more revolutionary storytelling. Jesus this director has brought our wildest dreams to life. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Robert Zemeckis movies. For this list, we're looking at the films that Mr. Zemeckis has directed throughout his career and are ranking them based on their critical acclaim, originality, and overall fan popularity. Now, I ain't cheap, but I can't be had. Number 10. Flight. Atlanta Center, this is South Jet 227. We're in an uncontrolled dive descending out of 21,000 feet. We're declaring an emergency. One of Robert Zemeckis' most compelling films is also one of his most recent. This dramatic thriller centers on Denzel Washington as an airline pilot struggling with various addictions. Were you aware that she was twice treated for alcohol addiction? The last time was 16 months ago and paid for by SouthJet Airlines. After saving a plane full of passengers from disaster, his competence as a pilot and ability to stay sober are put to the test. You're a hero, man. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. Zemeckis' first live-action film since the year 2000, Flight saw the director translate his own experience as a private pilot onto the screen, with his thoughtful direction bolstered by Washington's compelling performance. This toxicology report states that you were drunk and high on cocaine. Felonies punishable by up to 12 years in prison. Praised by both critics and audiences, the loosely based on a true story film earned two Academy Award nominations and proved that Zemeckis was not even close to finished as a director. Trina Marquez did not drink the vodka because I drank the vodka. Number nine, used cars. Throughout the 80s, Zemeckis brought several unforgettable, light-hearted pieces of entertainment to the big screen. A highlight being this overlooked R-rated gem that's fortunately been finding a wider audience thanks to its newfound cult status. Yes, folks, these people are obviously hysterical over the fabulous deals we have here. The new deal used car. In this comedy, we follow a crafty young used car salesman who tries to save the business he works for from falling into the wrong hands. Folks, here at New Deal Used Cars, we are stripping away inflation. Written by Zemeckis and frequent collaborator Bob Gale, Used Cars is filled with laughs, energetic performances, and Zemeckis' signature style. Yes, sir. So remember, friends, that's New Deal Used Cars. It really is a wonder it didn't do well at the box office upon initial release. New Deal Used Cars, so y'all come on down. Did you hear what I said? Number 8, Back to the Future Part 3. Rage! Is this a hold up? It's a science experiment! Here, though it's first to appear on this list, we accompany Marty McFly and Doc Brown for the last time on another awesome time-traveling adventure. Hopefully we'll hit 88 miles per hour before the needle gets put past 2000. Merging genres like comedy, science fiction, romance, and western, the audience follows Marty, who, after being stranded in 1955, discovers Doc is doomed to be murdered by, who else, but a member of the Tannen family. To rescue his friend from his fate, the time-traveling teen treks back to the Old West of 1885 under the alias of Clint Eastwood. Eastwood? Uh, Clint... Clint Eastwood? Sweet, clever, and thoroughly entertaining. It also provides fans a thrilling climax and a good moral to finish off Zemeckis' magnum opus of a trilogy. <laughs> Number seven, contact. Zemeckis scores yet another Oscar-nominated hit with this science fiction drama about a scientist portrayed by Jodie Foster, who believes she's made contact with alien beings. Well, we don't know. It might be some type of uh, uh, advanced uh, communication device, or it could be a, a teaching machine of some kind. Adapted from Carl Sagan's 1985 novel, Contact explores love, 
death, religion, and of course, extraterrestrial life. Similar to Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the film, with its incredible special effects, also leaves us wondering, is there life in space that we don't know about? Well, we have no idea. It could be anything. It could be uh, the first volume of an Encyclopedia Galactica. Instructions to acquaint us with their colonization procedures. Are there aliens from other planets trying to make contact? Questions everyone wants answers to. And questions that Zemeckis, with total creative control, skillfully brings to mind. Number six, Romancing the Stone. Who the hell are you? Well, I, I'm, I'm a romance novelist. You're what? In this action-adventure rom-com, we follow Kathleen Turner, who portrays a mousy romance novelist who may have more in common with her characters than she'd like to admit. My God, what kind of trouble are you in? She's tasked with delivering a treasure map to Colombian smugglers as ransom in order to save her kidnapped sister. They have jungles there, Joni. Insects the size of sanitation trucks, revolutionaries. It's not that shocking, then, that there were comparisons between this film and a certain badass Nazi-fighting archaeologist movie. However, the screenplay for Romancing the Stone was in fact written five years before Indiana Jones. Look, you want to kill me? Take me back to Queens and kill me. Don't let me die in a jungle like a goddamn snake. The result was a fun, funny, and spirited adventure for moviegoers and Zemeckis' first big hit. Is it uh, poisonous? Yeah. But very tasty. Number five, Back to the Future Part Two. Like the Lorian? Finally, we get to see what the year 2015 would look like. In the world of Back to the Future, that is. <laughs> A sequel that lives up to its predecessor. We embark on another blast into the past and future, as Marty McFly and Doc Brown accidentally create a dystopic 1985 and must once again travel back to 1955 to prevent those catastrophic changes. This has got to be the wrong year. Despite some less than stellar reviews from critics, it earned an Oscar nod for best visual effects. Little girl, stop, look, I need to bore you. Hoverboard. Plus, we can't help but love the way it calls back to the first film with its intertwining storyline, setting us up perfectly for the final installment in the process. Is your name Marty McFly? Number four, Castaway. Zemeckis collaborates with Tom Hanks for the second time in this adventure drama about a workaholic FedEx employee who realizes what truly matters in life when he's stranded on a desert island alone. Where's Wilson? Wilson, where are you? Faced with unique issues in the filmmaking process, like Tom Hanks' necessary weight loss and having only one live character on screen for most of the film, the director rose to the challenge. This is it. That's all that's left. Checked over the whole island, and that is all that's left. Credited as some of Zemeckis' deepest and most seasoned directing work, this film was praised by both critics and audiences for its intelligent script and for its take on the indomitable human spirit. Number three, who framed Roger Rabbit? Roger! What's this? Bleeding bird! One of the 80s' most risky films, this masterpiece took critics and audiences by sheer amazement with its uncanny fusion of live action and animation, earning it four Oscars in total. Take comfort, son. You're not the first man whose wife played patty cake on him. In a world where humans and toons coexist, we follow the titular character who, after being framed for killing a beloved businessman, seeks help from a private detective to prove his innocence. Go ahead, call the cops. I come here to help, and what do you do? You turn me in. Convincing human tune interactions, along with hilarious goofiness and admirable characters, made this an exhilarating ride to go on, with Zemeckis as our director. Don't think you're the only one for me. You'll see, we'll ride them up this piddling piccadillo. We're gonna be happy again. You got that happy triple A P P I. Number two, Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. 
In this comedy drama, we follow Tom Hanks' titular character, a simple-minded but kind-hearted young man who searches for happiness and his childhood love while also becoming involved in many American history events in the process. Run, Boris! Run! Here, Zemeckis uses his magic touch with special effects and archive footage to place Forrest in the middle of the action, making it look amazingly realistic when he encounters Beatles and presidents. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got a pig. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> Met with critical acclaim, Forrest Gump won six Oscars and is still Zemeckis' biggest film to date, and one of the most heartfelt. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Lady of Decision, full of confidence and spirit. Christmas spirit. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Number one, Back to the Future. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Really, what else could it be? With its trademark use of impressive special effects, this film also has all the eccentricity and heart critics and audiences have come to know and expect from Zemeckis. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? A sci-fi comedy classic about teenager Marty McFly, who, with the help from his friend Doc Brown, accidentally travels from 1985 to 1955, where he meets his teenage parents and inadvertently puts his own existence in jeopardy. Tell me, future boy, who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? With love, relationships, and time as its themes, Back to the Future is also funny, smart, lighthearted, and charming. All of which help it to be Zemeckis' most iconic film of all time. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Do you agree with our list? I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. What's your favorite Robert Zemeckis film? What do you think? I really don't know. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. 